seems like there are some dominant themes, one of which is competition can keep quality pure. Yes. You know, one of which is that who's overseeing the quality of the quality overseer. Right, exactly. One of them is the notion that part of rebuilding the quality reputation of this country is rebuilding that process. You know, those kinds of things, it just seems like you can do it verbally, but I don't know how that's going to get it accomplished. It's... Can you remember what's on your list of them? <laughs> <laughs> if you remember the F, I'm sure you remember those. Certainly the monopolization of the granting of certificates with vague, uh, vague uh, requirements or vague stipulations is an issue. You know, potentially. It is. Um, let me think a second. You've got one company that says basically, well look at it, look what happened with me trying to get into Oasis. They said I can't get into Oasis because you have to have, to have an ANAB logo on your cert. That's number one. That's by them putting that type of stipulation out there saying that you have to have this logo on your cert to be a viable cert. What that's telling you is that's repressing the ability for competition. What did I read about the monopoly? When you have one company that's repressing the ability for you to make a, a, you know, a business. America was built on that. America was built on competition. I don't think we're communist, at least the last time I looked, I don't know anymore. You know? Competition and competence too. Yes, competition, thank you. Thank you, competition and competence. That's very, very true. So when you have one company, okay, in a nutshell, when you have one company dictating policy, when you have the same guy who is on that accrediting body going to the International Accrediting Federation, oh, Fox watching a hen house, that's more than that. And then to make it even worse, it's a not-for-profit. Holy cow, where does all the money go? Salaries? Where does it go? I know we can get it through freedom of information, all the rest of that. I don't know if I want to spend the money to get that because there's lawyers involved. And, you know, when you deal with a lawyer, they're going to ask for a lot of money. So when you have a company that says we are the best and you're substandard, that's not American, fundamentally American. America was built on ingenuity. America was built on competition. When you only have one company saying, were this, I thought Stalin was dead. Maybe not. 